Wow, this recipe looks so tasty and so easy. I would eat so many of these little doggies. You just have to love these vintage recipes. Hey everyone, it's VM Campos Foodie. Let's take a look at a vintage cookbook that I've got in my collection. Let's cook outdoors. I love going to thrift stores and picking up vintage retro stuff. This book is from the 60s. We're gonna see if these recipes are still good 60 years later. Tell me in the comments which of these you want me to make myself and maybe they'll come out in a future video. But for the moment, let's cook outdoors. So first of all, the cover is beautiful. This vintage color in the photography, so the back looks like this. It's just a guy lounging. He loves his barbecue setup right there. He's just lounging. He's got his iced tea spiked with gin, I'm sure, and hanging out there with the good stuff. It is actually a, a, um, a wraparound cover right here. Anyway, let's browse inside and see what was good back in 1961. First of all, we have these beautiful little slider hamburgers with the full condiments. This book is from Sears, Roebuck and Company of USA, Chicago, Illinois. And it's just, it's like authentically vintage. This is from 1961 and this comes from Tested Recipe Institute. Yes, fellow humans, we have tested these recipes for you at our institute. So we've got general information about barbecuing, we've got specific meats, we can do fowl as well, fish and seafood, and then we have miscellaneous, such as fruit kebabs, salads, desserts, and beverages. We're gonna check all that out. And we're gonna see a lot of shilling for Kenmore branded stuff. Guess what, Kenmore is a brand of Sears, so yeah, they're all over the book. And again, it's got photography plus illustration. It's a small, compact book with still a lot of fun recipes. We have the starting off, starting a barbecue fire and placement of briquettes. Pause that, read it on your own. It talks about making the perfect fire in a variety of ways. Make sure you get Kenmore charcoal lighter fluid only or your house will blow up, I guess. Do you wanna do covered barbecuing or barbecue smoking? We got you right here, fam. Various ways to smoke. This hilarious spit barbecuing for fun and relaxation. Cause yeah, you just put the food on the spit, you let it spin around and eventually you have amazing food. Timing and heat control for barbecuing. Chill out with your spiked iced tea there while everything happens. Monitor the wind. And before you know it, you've got some cooked goodies. Here's our various time charts. Memorize these before you head off over to your barbecue pit. Check out how to select the perfect steak. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get to some recipes. Let's look at the spicy marinade. We need vinegar, cooking oil, water, minced onion, bay leaf, and whole cloves. Mix it all up, shake it, and you got your marinade. Nowadays, spicy isn't exactly the same as what spicy was back then, because this just has cloves. I guess that's what they mean, right? Spices, literally not like spicy, like hot sauce. Anyway, moving on. How about steak on a stick? So take some steak, wrap, wrap it around a pickle, then wrap bacon around that and grill it. Steak on a stick, amazing. You can do ribs. Here's a fiesta sauce for that. Use uh, butter or margarine, never use margarine. That's pretty much poison. So butter in a saucepan, onion, white wine, salt, boil it up, simmer it. You have your fiesta sauce. All right, here we go, a rum marinade. One quarter cup rum, one half cup for myself, one for the recipe. One quarter cup soy sauce, one quarter cup canned pineapple juice, one to two tablespoons of lemon juice, dry mustard, molasses, ginger, and garlic and pepper. Sounds pretty tasty. How about your own barbecue sauce, tomato based? We'll have tomato paste, dry mustard, brown sugar, salt, a few grains of chili powder. So once again, back in the day, back in the 60s, maybe people weren't as spicy as they are now, so I'd definitely put more than just a few grains of chili powder. We want a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a medium-sized onion, mince it, quarter cup of wine vinegar, water and lemon juice, and you got barbecue sauce. Pause it in here, read it on your own, the sharp and spicy relish or the horseradish sauce, horse radish. Okay, uh, we don't spell it like that anymore, but you know, 60 years later, things are different. You can make your own currant glaze. 
this is the best ever lamb shoulder, plus the stuffing. We want bacon. There's a lot of bacon in a lot of these recipes, so I approve. We got bacon, boiled ham, onion, salt, red currant jelly, and breadcrumbs. Mix it all up, put it in your lamb shoulder, and it's the best ever. It has to be, it's in the name. Barbecued lamb chops. How about cooking with a hibachi? How to use it, what to cook with it, such as zippy kebabs or ranch kebabs or lobster kebabs. No thanks, I'm not into seafood, but everything else looks good here. Spare ribs in a basket with a sweet sour glaze. So let's see, cornstarch, frozen pineapple juice, salt, cooking oil, minced green pepper, packed dark brown sugar, wine vinegar, soy sauce, garlic, put it all together, you've got a sweet and sour glaze. This one really stood out to me, a peanut butter glaze. Two tablespoons softened, homogenized peanut butter. Nah, I prefer the chunky stuff. Then the uh, teaspoon of honey and orange juice, mix it all up together. You have one third of a cup of peanut glaze. Very simple. Should this be one of the ones that I do on a future video? Tell me in the comments which of these various recipes and glazes and sausage I should engage in and then I'll make a video about it in the future. Tell me in the comments. How about the ginger glaze? Should I try to make my own festive ham steak? I like glazed pork butts and I cannot lie, especially with the honey glaze. So all we need is some brown sugar, some honey, apricot nectar, mix it all up in a saucepan, boil it, and you got three quarters of a cup of a honey glaze. Now here we go, hot dog roundup. We can have the South Sea hot dog, the little doggies, which is basically wrapped refrigerated pan ready biscuits, uh, also known as hot dog buns, I guess, around Vienna sausages or cocktail frankfurters. Put biscuit wrapped sausages on skewers, then brush with melted butter, nice. Barbecue on grid about two minutes above the hot coals, turning often until biscuits are golden and sausages are hot, or 12 to 15 minutes. Get along little doggies into my tummy. Or how about hamburgers? We can do the just plain hamburger, the corn burger, jumbo burger, the Coney Island burger. 60 years later and these are making me so hungry. We got various chicken recipes over here, a cranberry spice glaze, banana stuffing. Now, I never thought about this at all, but this is interesting. Onion, bread cubes, salt, poultry seasoning, bananas, and butter. And you got a, and you got, and you got a stuffing, banana stuffing and chicken? Wow, very interesting. Have you had anything like this ever before? Are you curious about this sort of banana stuffing flavor? Tell me in the comments. Barbecued stuffed turkey. So this is what's retro right here. It's not about the turkey in the oven or the deep fried turkey. It's the turkey on your barbecue. Classic. Or maybe Cornish game hands or maybe wild duck is what you need. Pheasant. Pheasant, do they even sell this at stores anymore or do you have to hunt it yourself? You can do fish. I'm not a fish fan. I'm gonna pass on this, but you pause it right here and see if you like any of these things like this lime butter. Shrimp. Uh, with some nippy dunking sauce. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this stuff. The photography is pretty amazing, but I'm not a fan of that. Tell me in the comments, are you into seafood? Would you want that lobster tail on your dinner plate? Or are you more into veggies? We've got a whole section on grilling vegetables, like a fruit kebab with a lemon honey glaze. The fruit stuff kind of zooms by. And then we've got over here breads to serve. How about some tangy French bread, some deviled bread sticks, Vegetables to barbecue. How about some white potatoes, some stuffed acorn squash, herb seasoned carrots, or corn barbecued in foil. That's classic. My family did that one all the time. Fruits to barbecue, peaches and berries, apples on a stick, barbecued bananas or barbecued pineapple boat. Book me safe passage on this boat. Let's see, buy a medium sized ripe whole pineapple, figure at least one pineapple for four people. Cut pineapple in half lengthwise to make it boat shaped. Be sure some leaves still remain on the top. Prepare it this way, grill it up. We're taking a trip on the SS pineapple. Salads, hot potato salad. Potatoes, water, bacon, chopped onion, vinegar, marjoram, celery, salt and pepper, mince it all up. Now here we're getting a kind of a little bit away from the actual barbecue of it all, but these are accompaniments, so that's cool. If you want to do some salads in this barbecue, how about a tomato French dressing, a snappy French dressing, or a mustard salad dressing to impress everyone at your barbecue. Desserts, lemon chiffon pie, fudge bars. Ooh, I love fudge bars. I love packing them away. 
Banana Spice Square. Are you a banana fan? Did you ever watch the old TV show Banana Man? Beverages for barbecue, raspberry soda. We need a package of frozen red raspberries, some sugar, some milk, vanilla ice cream, carbonated water. That sounds tasty. Harvest Punch. Uh, sugar, water, grape juice, orange juice, lemon juice. Totally easy. A claret float. For each serving, put several ice cubes in a tall glass and fill three quarters full with lemon flavored carbonated beverage, such as 7-Up, I guess. Tip the glass slightly and carefully pour in one third cup of claret wine so it forms a layer on top. Serve without stirring. Ooh, that's fancy. How about the bottoms up? We need some gin. Nice. We need some mangostura bitters. Nice. Orange juice. Nice. Pineapple juice, lemon juice, and sugar. Ooh, that sounds really tasty. I might have one of these after the video. And then I'm going to be bottoms up. Fruit iced tea, banana milkshake, frosted coffee float. I've been getting so much into coffee. Let's see this one. Four teaspoons of instant coffee, three tablespoons of sugar, one third cup boiling water, four cups chilled milk, one eighth teaspoon almond extract, a pint, a one half a pint of chocolate ice cream, and vanilla ice cream. Ooh, I could go for this. Uh, coffee delectability. Tips for cooking outdoors. Generally speaking, a buffet or help yourself menu is the most popular kind. It gives the host more free time to mingle with the singles and make for a more informal get acquainted type of party. So some very good tips here for cooking outdoors. Pause it, read it all on your own to have the perfect get together. And then there's our index to jump to the various chapters, the various recipes. And there is a recipe. So once again, what do you think? Which what, what should I create for my next video? Tell me in the comments what you'd like to see me put together, whether it's a full dish or a side dish or drinks or desserts or whatever. Tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think I should create with this vintage recipe book. Do you think these are easy? Am I going to be lounging in the backyard enjoying as everything happens automatically or am I going to be struggling to make it all come together? And what did you think about this book? Isn't it cool to look at classic vintage stuff? and resurrect the old recipes of yore. Do you have any vintage recipes that you like to make that you recommend? Tell me about it in the comments. If you liked this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and maybe even comment, share, ring the bell, battle the minotaur, do all the good stuff. I really appreciate it. If you really like my videos, consider pledging over at Patreon, patreon.com slash vmcampos. It keeps the channel going, it keeps it funded, it keeps me motivated, and I would totally appreciate it. Us content creators love creating content for you, but we also like to get rewarded for it. Even at one dollar at a time, it's much appreciated. If you can't quite pledge at the moment, no worries. Simply like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell, battle the minotaur, help me go viral. I would really appreciate it. This has been VM Campos, and I'm going to go cook outdoors.